hi guys you're welcome back to my youtube channel it's your girl acid darling so you're welcome once again thank you guys so much for joining by the time you're watching this video we have officially hit 12,000 subscribers Woohoo! thank you all so so much i am so grateful in fact i am blown away the love the support i truly appreciate you people so we are back again with another dear 2021 brides video so on this video i'm going to be talking about um what's your guest care about and what they do not actually care about you know when you're planning your wedding you're busy about some little little details and as an event planner i mean i've done this for six years i'm going to be doing a video about running a nigerian business for six years guys i have stories <laughs> i have stories so watch out for that one but for, on this video so if you have a wedding coming up you might need to watch this if you have friends that have weddings coming up and they are so bothered about a lot of details i'm going to be stating on this video the things you should bother about and the things you can just you know you would still be concerned about but not so much okay so if that's the kind of content you're interested in please keep on watching name is asitonka agri abba and channel is called acid darling because i'm such a darling <laughs> <laughs> all right guys so the first thing i would say your guests care about is a nice ambience so it's a good ambience they come into your hall the ambience consists of your decoration the way the place is set up oh people love nice things okay so they go like wow people love to be amazed they're coming to your wedding oh my god it's nice and then your air conditioning the place doesn't have to be hot because just know that the moment they step in they're complaining they have not even enter the ceremony proper you understand so the first thing your guests will care about is a nice ambience so whether you're doing a, your venue um your wedding in um a, an event center or you're using an open field please please make sure you care about um what's um what they call ventilation so if you're going to be using an open field make sure there's enough fans make sure there's enough um air conditioning if probably you're using a closed marquee make sure that you have enough. know you cannot even skimp on fans because people want an ambience where they are not sweating they are not hot okay so i'm i'm sure you understand already you know nigerian guests though. all right so point number two for what your guests care about is good food hey nigerian guests good food in fact they don't they might not see bread and group of good food you see food <laughs> <laughs> that the wedding food i tell people it's not like they can't afford it but wedding food has this thing it's almost like communion people want to people want to die it's like the body of jesus they if they don't eat wedding food then they can cry if you have not watched the video i did about um i did about the things that went wrong with my wedding the collaboration i did with neze please go and watch that video she was talking about missing wedding jollof can make a grown man cry so that's how important food in an event is to wedding guests so please please make sure and also prompt service there can be a lot of food bars and event plan i see that most guests do not understand how how food is served most of these trays you see can carry only let's say three plates so if you're sitting on a table of 10 the usher or the server has to come to your table four times so that everybody will get food so if you're sitting on the next table and you keep seeing the usher going to that table she has to finish the table so most times i hear people saying they were passing me and passing me and passing me understand you know and another thing is if you as a wedding um as a bride or as a, as a groom make sure that you do not skimp on the amount of servers people say no my auntie will put hand my cousin will put don't it doesn't work because you can pay for 1000 food for a wedding of 300 and one person will eat 70 times and one person will not eat like if there's always an imbalance but if you get professionals and they are able to serve that food the food is nice it can taste good but if it doesn't go around people will complain so the food is good and then there's prompt service so that's point number two for what your wedding guests care about let's get to point number three right, just like food they care about drinks i mean especially if it's port harcourt port harcourt people might not they don't care about decor in fact it's just recently that i found out that a lot of people are now trying to put more money into decoration here in port harcourt farm is their drink that is the budget like they don't really care all those things that used to bother lagos people huh? we don't care it's just the drinks that is the, is the wedding <laughs> so um, i found that um after a while okay let's say as events are beginning to uh beginning to evolve and a lot of people are coming up on instagram and they are seeing more things and they're like okay let's give ambience a little chance but usually drinks is big here and it, it is in fact in other states too so the, that's the third thing that wedding guests care about especially if you're doing a nigerian wedding the drinks have to go around make sure that the formula you're using to serve your drinks are things that are 
how would I even put it safe? If I should do a separate video, like this, all these my videos are just about they are, they are mini master classes. So please give me a big fat like in the comment section. Gi no, in fact, tell me in the comment section below that you're enjoying this series because I'm giving you guys tips that are invaluable. No, this is this is everything I, I tell my I cl my clients. This is everything. So please give me a big fat thumbs up. Okay, I know I'm talking fast. Please, okay. So um, like I said, drinks are very very important. So make sure that there's surplus of water. People can come to your wedding and they don't see what well, like water is the one that I don't I don't understand. Please make sure that you overestimate on water and on soft drinks. Let's say more water and soft drinks. Because if everything else finishes, let there be water and let there be soft drinks. Okay. So if you're living in a beer area, let's say your middle belt, you're doing in but Harcourt, let's say just make sure there's enough beer to go around. Do you understand? If spirits will finish, let the beer be remaining. Okay, so let's get to point number four. So point number four is a good MC. Most MCs are boring. Most MCs drag the events and the guests are complaining. This is something that you might not understand, but that is why they are called the master of the ceremony. If your MC is bad, sis, that wedding is going to be dry. That wedding, there are some MCs that are too vulgar. That wedding is just going to piss people off. There are some MCs that don't know how to give good jokes. There are some MCs that don't know how to carry the events. Maybe you, the bride, you're changing. The MC is there in the hall shouting, Where is the bride? That MC is not polished. That MC should not even hold mic. If you're not somebody that knows how to fill in gaps, the bride is changing to her second look, which happens a lot. You tell jokes, you fill in the gap. In fact, a good MC we might be changing. I mean, if you check out Achalugo's wedding, um, we were changing and when we came back it was like they didn't miss us everybody in the hall was dancing dj was playing mc was dancing it's like there was a challenge and they, the people didn't really feel like oh my god there i went to change and there's this gap the same thing with stephanie's wedding if you watch stephanie's wedding if you watch the all the all my recent weddings watch the mc's performance it is very important when you're choosing your um, wedding vendors make sure to use a good mc they carry your events in fact we can plan for six months ten months eight months if your wedding mc is bad your whole day can be ruined all our plans can just fall flat if the mc does not know how to carry the day because he basically carries the mood of the people okay so let's get to the next point so point number five is also very important in fact this is this is this is the point a good dj fam good mc and good dj side by side you will have a fantastic event a good dj a dj that would that will not be like you know some of them and this their transitioning is so flat people are dancing dancing scale before you know um you now start playing it is well like how do we go from scale to it is well so please choose a good DJ. So that will be going from when the bed do they enter body, they will not go to another like he doesn't even know how to transition. Please, I beg you. Choose a DJ that knows how to carry the crowd, that knows how to play, that is not somebody that will need to say DJ. Track 10, track 15, rewind. No, 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 no. Please choose a good DJ, okay? So that's point number five. And these are points that you should look out for. These are things that your wedding guests care about. And these are things we always tell our, our clients firsthand. Do not worry about many little, little details. When you get these first things first down, I'm also going to be, remember at the second part of this video, I'm going to be telling you the things your wedding guests do not care about. So keep on watching. Right, so the next point, which is also very important, especially in this uh, uh, area, is security. So you, you don't um, carry your wedding to go and do in a place where, in fact, bush here, bush here. In fact, they have to love you to appear, you know? Consider security when you're going to be doing your wedding, whether your trad or your white wedding. If the area is not secure, you don't need to carry all your guests there. Imagine um, people come for your wedding and they are kidnapped. People come for your wedding and they were robbed. That's not a good feeling. As a soon-to-be bride and groom, please put security at the back of your mind. Make sure they are bouncers. Make sure that they are security people. Make people feel safe to dance in your event. And also, please, as a wedding guest, I always tell my wedding guests this. Do not get to someone's event and lose guard. Like you leave your phone on the table simply because you, there were people sitting there. Did you come with them? Did you tell anybody to hold your phone? Don't come later and say, oh, I lost my phone. And no, 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 no. Do not forget your phone. Always hold your valuables. You, um, there are people that just come into event spaces and they're like, madam, let me, give me your phone. Let me snap you. Beware of them. You don't know what they will blow like this before you turn and turn. He has gone away with your phone. Please hold your valuables to yourself. This tip 
this tip is, has saved somebody's life. Oh. This particular tip now, I'm sure somebody there that has watched this video or that somebody there that is watching this video has gotten this tip. Do not go to any wedding and drop your valuables anyhow. Please be conscious. Even when you see the bouncers, still be conscious. There's nothing like too much security, okay? So point number seven is souvenirs. Hey, souvenirs. <laughs> wedding guests care about souvenirs and this is like why i'm putting it at point number seven is because it's here or there with me personally i tell my clients not to bother about souvenirs first souvenirs when we are finished planning the wedding and we have change we do souvenirs why is because although wedding guests care about souvenirs you should know that nigerian wedding guests are spoiled you don't give them book they will look at it like eh, okay now it's book you give them this one ah, it's book and cup they are sharing madam what we share now you know there's always there's never a sweet spot with wedding gear unless eh, just be ready to spend like two five and a and above per person we look at it when i have experienced a wedding where somebody was like ah it's book that they're even sharing self and i was like sis don't be don't be somebody that is not um appreciative because you're looking at it like it's a book that's sharing i'm looking at it like that book that 250 naira book multiplied by 1000 people that's what i'm counting i'm the event planner i'm the one with the spreadsheet i'm seeing how much they spent you're looking at it like 100 naira mug 100 naira mug times 1000 how much is that your bag the bag that they used to put these souvenirs for you one was 350 times 1000 how much is that so you see the amount of money that people get to spend behind the scenes and when you see your one souvenir and you're not appreciative it has it's it, it, it's it's one of the reasons why i tell my, my clients although wedding guests care about souvenirs please do not break your head then go there all right let it be when you have change because you will not kill yourself for us that's just the plain and simple truth all right guys so these are the parts that your wedding guests care about let us now go into the things that fam uh, they don't really care about okay so let's get to point number one of the things your wedding guests do not care about the first point is fresh flowers i know that in the first part i was telling you about nice ambience nice this nigerian wedding guests do not really care about fresh flowers like don't even kill yourself i know if you're watching this from out of the country a lot of people um when i see your budget for weddings abroad it's mainly florist and i'm seeing thousands for florists i'm like oh because it's fresh flowers because it's drapery i'm seeing that they are coating utensils separately i'm like wow no in nigeria you can use four flowers in fact people prefer four flowers because you can reuse it i mean you can always use it so don't bother about saying oh i need to go and get fresh flowers real life roses at one point we really don't care because i've done pools where um in an event where i was i was so sure or no in events where i've done where the bride was so particular about decor when everybody was seated and i pretty much asked some guests okay so what do you think about the setting like ah the ambience is so fine what do you think about oh so beautiful oh so this nobody goes about saying i like how you people line the white rose to crisscross the burgundy peonies that came down from the lavender this nobody sees all of that like that's the work that made us stay up all night designing and drawing they don't see that they just see a fine ambience it does wedding guests for you okay so i know you as the bride and you're the groom you want to be worried about details there should be a crystal falling in one corner oh sh wedding guests just come in and they're like wow fine ambience wow ac wow good dj wow this music ah mc is nice there's food there's drink and then you now give them souvenirs easy your wedding mm, that's what they say so point number two in this day and age where everything is digital wedding invitation paper-based invitation is something that most people don't care about especially for people that are 21st century vibing even the elderly ones they really don't care about it you can take wine of course still take wine to meet them most times i find that paper-based invitations that we are having to maybe send out it's out of respect maybe because you don't want a station whereby the people hope the air conditioning was not worrying okay god my sound um you don't want a station whereby people feel bad um about the um what they call you inviting them empty-handed or maybe just sending them whatsapp text this is paper we are wasting a lot of paper so i feel that if you must you can go out of your way and do like a few um invitations really nice and send those ones out to people that those those um invitation cards are very important to let's say the chief let's say the women leader you know there are some certain associations that you must bring a card you must bring a fiscal card and you bring your wine so put that but then when you're sending those cards unless 
even when you're sending to government people seriously uh, most of the government weddings have done they prefer to type letters they don't really care about card so unless maybe you want to send to like kings and some few other people using like top of the line card and all of that maybe man this day and age people really don't care unless maybe you're sending them um what they call access cards if you're sending access cards yes you and you need to add the wedding card maybe you should go out of your way but seriously either ways they will show up for your wedding because the truth is after seeing the details before you know they are flinging it to one corner and that's money <laughs> you know me i'm looking at the money part okay so that's the second point let's get to point number three point number three is customized cake knife i know i know i know over the years of course a lot of people have started coming down with that matter customized cake knife customized yes those are little details that you might like but please do not go out of your way breaking your head as if we are going to see it most people don't see it a good cake um a good baker is going to definitely add a very nice knife but having to do oh my god it must be you know maybe you forget you forget your customized cake knife and you start having panic attack don't it's not that deep seriously it's not that deep okay so with your cake remember also i've done a video where i said you can even skimp on it man you can put dumb use dummy cakes put only one real cake and wedding guests do not care about it as long as the cake is fine we don't really see if your cake is real or is fake and sh you shall cut cake right that's all oh <laughs> that's seriously so do not um be bothered about oh my god what will people think before the dummy cakes and the real cakes to the naked eye they look exactly the same i've been doing this for so long i still do not know the difference so please do not be bothered about maybe going above your budget to do all real cake when you can just do maybe one or two layers of real cake because the truth is your wedding guests do not care about that okay so that's the um third and fourth point because the customized cake knife is the third point and then the fourth point is using real cake just like fresh flowers like you can actually get away with some other things okay so let's get to the next point so the next point that might be a bit shocking is um you changing okay i've been saying this thing um is here and there with some people because i tell you when you wear your wedding gown i want to change the reception dress please make sure the reception dress is gang gang because fam your wedding guests do not really they don't like they will not think anything if you decide not to change do you understand if you decide to enjoy maybe a dress that you paid thousands of dollars for you decide to wear it throughout the ceremony nobody is going to beat you seriously nobody is going to be instead of dressing down it's best to wear the dress throughout the day because the truth is your wedding guests do not really care about it i find brides being apprehensive oh my god i have my wedding gown now oh my god what will i wear for reception Eh, you must not you must not bother about it seriously unless maybe you use your wedding gown to roll on the floor and now it's so dirty <laughs> i don't understand why you cannot wear it through or maybe the um the wedding gown was really heavy and you need to dress down okay that's also understandable sometimes people do convertible gowns you remove the ball and you leave the mermaid that is always a a plus because it always works for me if you're going to rent i feel you can rent one for your um white wedding and you rent a different one for you because i want you to always stand out the truth is your wedding guests i don't want a station whereby you feel like wedding guests are going to dress a bit down so that you sh see people are going to dress well so imagine when you change your reception dress and it's the same material with a guest or something please the bottom line is your wedding guests do not really care about whether or not you have a reception dress do not kill yourself about that detail right, okay? so the next point is just so you know um when it comes to programs do not kill yourself about programs if you can do a three-way nice program we are cool you must not do like 17 pages program with all your love stories we will still take that but the reason i'm doing this part of what your wedding guests do not care about is not simply because they don't care about it totally is things that they can live without they are not going to die worrying about maybe having a 10 cost meal no don't even bother yourself you can have the standard menu and then have many sides let's say you're having um small chops you're having this instead of having 10 cost meal with continental and break it down because the truth is they just want the food to be good add suya add bole and tell the people frying you see fries they should fry sweet potato and gravy yam and sauce and um this thing sauce they should saute fish those are the small, small things you can add don't go and kill yourself i want to do 42 cost meal because fam 
it's just good food and vibes seriously that's the thing with wedding guests as long as the food is good even if it's yeah bawo whatever her plate is nice everything the things are cute that's it we wedding guests that is it so most times i feel i find a lot of people being very um stressed out when it comes to menu please let the one that you're getting get it away Mm? and the thing is we the reason we break the food down is because people don't eat all at once so serving 42 course meal all in the afternoon doesn't really serve the purpose because by the time somebody wants to eat by five the food is cold so instead standard menu that afternoon later on let's um fish or fried potato and um yam start coming out you understand later on it's coming out with bole then you go and order because i've done it several times i'll call maybe domino's or call the bonnets and say bring 40 packs of pizza hot is streaming to the venue before you know we are calling this one before you know we are uh -uh. i've even brought a pizza um person chef harold's for one of our, our events he was doing the pizza day life with all the cheese and man those are little little things the amount of money we spend breaking it down is most times even less than what we spend doing 42 cost meal um continental asian chinese this one that one and the truth is most times we find people wasting the food because they don't understand it the bottom line is best to keep things very simple do not over do not worry yourself so to speak about some little details and of course just so you have a perfect wedding get an experienced wedding planner that's just the crux of the matter me me you can even call us get an experienced wedding planner there are lots of event planners get an experienced wedding planner to help you bring all your details to reality i hope you enjoyed this video let me know down in the comment section below have you been a wedding guest what were the things you cared about what are the things you saw that it was just overdone like what is even this one? What are the things that you thought was just a plain waste of money as a wedding guest? Please let us know your thoughts in the comment section below. You do not know the bride you're helping, seriously. Because there are many people that are worried about some details. If you write down as somebody, like I went to a wedding, I saw this. I think people can do without it. You, you have saved the bride from wasting money. So please let us know your thoughts in the comment section below. I remember your girl, Asi Dali. Check out my wedding playlist for all other videos you want to watch about weddings and the past events I've done. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye.